Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just want to talk about pride and how Most High hates a prideful man, you know, a prideful Israelite, an arrogant one. Because we're not supposed to be prideful on the side, man. And Most High is looking for, you know, the humble ones, you know, the ones that are of a contrite spirit, you know, someone that's broken inside, someone that's wants to, uh, and come back to the Heavenly Father with all his heart, all with all his spirit, and search him out ten times more. You know, there's no room for, for pride and arrogancy. You know, being arrogant, and thinking you know everything, you know, being puffed up. That's what happens when you, when some guys, you know, get a lot of knowledge, or they learn some scriptures, they get, they get puffed up in the spirit. But, uh, first scripture is, uh, Proverbs, 8 and 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth, I do hate, so yeah, I mean, the most I hate, you know, he hates a prideful guy, man, a prideful dude, you, know, you gotta, you gotta be humble and thing. I mean, you're supposed to, you're supposed to really hate, you're supposed to hate your life, really, when you come into this truth, you know? The next scripture is uh, Isaiah 57, 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite one. Yeah, you know, this is what that truth does, man. You know, a cow can a young man you'll cleanse his way by taking word, heed to the word thereof, man. Taking heed to this word. You know, yeah, that's what this word is for, is to revive the spirit of the humble, you know. To revive the heart of the contrite ones. Look that word up, contrite. Hebrew word is, uh, teka. It means to be crushed, you know, to be broken, you know. To be shattered, you know, to break, you know, crush, bruise, beat in pieces, humble, you know. You have to have that that crushed spirit, you know, of knowing you lost everything, knowing that you went off, knowing that you forgot the name of your Hawabashim, I was shy. You know, you gotta seek the Lord ten times more, you know, when, when you get this knowledge, you know. Look the word up, contrite. In the etymology online uh, dictionary, means broken in spirit by sense of guilt, conscience stricken, and resolved to not sin again. You know, those are the ones that the Most High is looking for. You know, the ones that are broken in spirit, the ones that want to come back wholeheartedly, you know, to the Heavenly Father. You know, the ones worn out, ground to pieces, you know, worn out, you know. Seriously, they should wear out the saints, you know, in this time. Next scripture is uh, Isaiah 66, uh, 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath my hand made and all those things have been saith the Lord, but to this man will I look even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. You know, fear of the Lord. Going back to that fear of the Lord, man. You know, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. You know, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way does the most I hate. You know, he's looking for ones that trembleth at his word, the ones that fear, you know, Fear the Most High. Fear His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the ones that are poor and of contrite spirit, you know, they're, they're going to tremble at the word, you know. You know, this is a John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. 
and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal, to, to life eternal. Yeah, man, you're supposed to hate, you know, hate this world. You're supposed to hate your life, you know. Scripture say, uh, you know, curses the day I be born, you know. Let not that day be blessed. And believe it's, you know, he cursed his birthday, you know. Because he hated his life, you know. Knowing that we lost everything. We lost our heritage. Lost our land. Lost everything. Man. We're the least respected, you know, bottom of the barrel in the society. You're supposed to hate your life, man. Not saying you're going to be down and out all the time, but, you know, you're supposed to be all prideful, arrogant all the time, and, you know, with your nose up in the air. You know, most guys looking for that humble spirit, man. So even Yahweh Shai, was, he was grieved, you know, he was acquainted with grief. You know, this is uh, Isaiah 53 and 3. He is despised, he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as if were if it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the most high, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So that's talking about Yahweh Shai right here, you know? He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, with that word greed of. That word grief, you know, it's talking about sicknesses, you know? He was, he was sickly, you know? He was in the in these chains of darkness, these bodies that we're all in, you know, and you get sick, you know, man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, you know, so he wasn't this happy-go-lucky, you know, person walking around the planet Earth, you know, he says he was a, he was an austere man, austere, you know, very serious, you know, but, you know, I just wanted to talk about, you know, the contrite, having that contrite spirit, that humble spirit be crushed on the inside, you know, wanting to do right, wanting to seek the Lord ten times more, you know, having that conscious, stricken spirit, you know. And, you know, that's what the Most High is looking for, you know, that humble, you know, you got to drop the arrogancy, drop the pride, you know. Don't be all puffed up in this truth, man. So with that, you know, shalom all.